that feels like. Kevin and Lucy are back on track, more or less. Now it's time to give Ian and Eve a little push. Uh, maybe a big push. A lot of damage was done there. Anyway, that's the agenda for today. You know, I have eyes in the back of my head. Do you really? Uh, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> You know, for an angel race, you have a pretty good sense of humor. <laughs> you don't know what angels have. Well, yeah. Well, you think we're just sitting around on clouds all day playing harps? I don't know. So what's up with you? Uh, well, Jamal has invited Valerie to move in with us because she has no other place to go. Wow. Yeah, tell me about it. She is now in my face 24-7. But thanks to you, I'm dealing. Thanks to me. Yeah, see, the old Allison would have gone ballistic, you know, but the new and improved Allison, well, it's taken it all in a stride. Just as long as, you know, she doesn't stay forever. Which means? Which means if Valerie isn't out in a week, then I'm going to change the locks on my apartment. Fine, fine. Two weeks, okay? It's better. Hey, you want to help me out with the situation? It might help you get your mind off your house guest. Why? What's up? Well, I have to help Ian and Eve. Mm-hmm. I don't know them that well, so I can't just show up at their door and spread magic dust and hope they live happily. Wait, magic after. dust? Is there really such thing? All right, you know I what? We've talked about, about this already. There's well, no know. magic dust. Okay, now, Reeve. Now, do you okay. have any ideas? Um, actually, I do. All right, well, let's go. Come on, come on. Did you lose something? This is Danny's first Christmas, and I want it to be really special, so I thought I'd dig around for some of our Christmas decorations. There we go. I have an idea. Why don't we string cranberries and popcorn this year? Have you ever actually done that? No, I haven't, but uh, it looks really easy when they do it in the movies. Our son is three months old. I don't think he's really know the difference. Even though our son is only three months old, I think he's going to notice if his parents aren't getting along. And you think stringing up popcorn and cranberries is going to make a difference? I'm just trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Is that so terrible? No, it's not. I just... I, what? What? Nothing. What? What? Nothing. For a few minutes, please. Uh, there is somebody I need to see. This time of night. Just can't wait. Hmm, okay. Where should I see Matt? Well, of course, Doc's probably most definitely gonna want Mac as his best man, so I should see Mac right next to Doc, which. Oh, wait a minute. I can't really do that, because this is my surprise wedding. I mean, Doc wants me to be surprised, so if I'm working on a whole seating chart, I. Party planner would work out a seating chart so it could just be a party so I can see everybody where I want them to sit. Oh, Doc, I do want to marry you. I do. I. I do. No. I do. I do. I do. I do, Doc, want to marry you. <laughs> Look, you don't have to worry. I'm not going anywhere. I just can't believe that you're here. I mean, obviously, I wish the circumstances were different. But that doesn't matter. I'm just so glad to have this chance.
Hi, hey, Ian. Come on in. Oh, oh, so Daniel, um, we, uh, Rafe was in uh, helping me make a delivery in the area, and I, I just wanted to um, drop by this little baby gift I, for you. Here we are. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, Hi. in you come. <laughs> a little late, isn't it? Um. Oh, Ian, he's so darling. You know, this was, um, my favorite part about, you know, volunteering at the hospital was being in the nursery. Eve practically had to drag me away. Is Eve here? So sweet. No, she's not. She had an errand to run. I'm not sure where she went. Oh, um, well, I, I, I brought you this, this gift. Um, it's sort of like Daniel's first ornament. I, er, I guess I sort of spoiled the surprise. Hmm. That was nice. Yeah. Where are you going to put the tree? Christmas tree. I haven't really thought about that. A lot of stuff going on with the vampires and that. No, I haven't thought about Christmas trees or Christmas songs, for that matter. You know, may maybe you should open your gift. Maybe we should wait for Eve. She likes doing things like that. Oh, come on, Ian. I, I can't stand it when someone doesn't open up a present right away. I, I want to see Daniel's face when he sees it. Come on, just humor me. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I, uh, thank you, Alison. We'll, we'll treasure this. I, uh, you just, I, you just reminded me. I, I got, I gotta go do something. Oh, well, you know, don't let us stop you. I mean. Um, do me a favor, but can you keep an eye on Danny for a while? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. What a beautiful night. Looks like snow. Wouldn't that be nice? White Christmas. No better kind. What did you do to him? I just gave him a push in the right direction. Nowhere he didn't want to go already. Yeah, well, it's too bad Eve wasn't here, huh? Yeah, it's too bad. Let's just hope the spirit finds her wherever she is. Oh, hi. Hi. Aren't you going to invite me in? You do everybody else. Oh, um... How are you, Eve? Is that a trick question? No, actually, I, I genuinely want to know how you are. Okay, cut the crap, Lucy. You know why I'm here. Okay, yeah, I do. Um, you know, I, I, I knew we sort of probably had to have this discussion, but I was hoping maybe we could just kind of put it in the past, pretend it never happened. Oh, you sleeping with my husband? Guess not. Okay, um, it, it just... Happened. It was just this one moment be because we, we sort of both were very lonely and we went to each other because we couldn't find anybody else, I guess, for comfort. Not, not for love, Eve, I, I swear. The whole time, Ian never stopped loving you. It, this, this was just one night. It meant absolutely nothing. Well, it meant something to me. But as usual, you were only thinking about yourself. Okay, I, I said I'm sorry, and I will say it as many times as you need to hear it. I don't want to hear any of your lame excuses, Lucy. And don't insult me by saying that this was just one crazy mistake. Because this is your pattern. You are like some poisonous spider lying in wait to wrap her spindly legs around whatever unfortunate victim falls into her web. That was good. So I feel you need to continue. Well, you okay? Let it all out, Eve. Just hit me with your best stuff. Go I should have known that you would have gone after Ian because whatever is mine is fair game for you. And you know, here I thought that Caleb was the only predator in this town. Now you're comparing me to a vampire. Actually, vampires pale in comparison to you. In fact, I, for the life of me, can't understand what Kevin sees in you. In fact, you must have cast one of your spells on him to get him to agree to this farce of a party. Are you finished? For now. Okay, good. Because you know what? It's your turn. I have said I'm sorry. I am taking full responsibility for what I did wrong. It was wrong. I'm responsible. And Ian has taken full responsibility for what he did. But now it is your turn to take responsibility for everything you did. She told me that you didn't want to talk about things. 
I can see on your face some of what you've been through. But to me, you're just as beautiful as ever. <laughs> oh, there's that smile. Nothing else like it. <sighs> there hasn't been a lot of happiness around here lately. But you come in here changes all that. Changes everything. It's time you expect... Daniel, I have fed him, and I've told him every story that I can think of. <laughs> so what's wrong with this picture? Well, you know, he's probably all freaked out being around strangers. So, um, is it true what they say about babies and angels? What's that? That, you know, when they're born, they're still so close to heaven. So when they smile or laugh, it's because an angel hmm? So what do you say? You want to give it a shot, angel? Me? I, um... Yeah, come on. Let's uh, let's see you work a little magic. Okay. Uh, put oh. the little guy down. Yes. See what happens? Okay. Come on. Come on. Wait. What, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna like fly around? Uh, maybe I guess we just have to wait and see. Okay, Daniel. Okay. 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 Let there be light. I'm part of my job, you know? Oh, my God. See, little guy? Daniel. There's no reason to cry. All this beautiful place. The light springs up out of darkness, and, uh, Sometimes good things just... pop up when you least expect them. Yes, with a little help from your friendly neighborhood angel. It's a great smile. Him. He loves it. I was talking about you. Huh? I love to make you smile. Mm. Hey. hey. Hope Daniel wasn't in trouble. No, 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 not at all. Yeah. Good. Well, maybe I'll call on you guys again to babysit. Well, you know, Rafe, he's very good with children. Yeah. You ought to see what he did. To hey, make you know Daniel what? We don't laugh. want to keep you, Dr. Thorne. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. No, okay. No, okay. Thanks again. Um, okay. See you later. Hey, all right. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Bye. I forgot about this part. This is the part where Lucy blames everyone else for her mistakes. Uh, no, you, you covered that. Now let's go over your mistakes, okay? Starting with the fact that you actually accused your husband of being a deranged murderer. How, how could you do that? And, and, and better, you tried to keep him away from his son. Eve, being married to someone means you trust them. What happened to that trust? The first sign of trouble, it just blows out the window and you run to your ex-husband. You know, wait! I see it, a pattern developing for you. Okay, first of all, Kevin was helping me with Daniel. But you wouldn't understand the concept of friendship. I, I apologize to you. I am so sorry for what happened. And I admitted my mistakes. I take responsibility. Ian has done the same thing. Eve, what about you? What are you doing? We are talking. Really? Well, why don't you just walk yourself out the door and go continue talking at your house? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I just wanted to ask you about this. Is this party an excuse for you to hit on somebody else's husband? No. My party is gonna... My party is to help people. I want everybody to feel better because we have had such a god-awful year. Is that a problem for you? No, it's not a problem for me at all. I just don't understand why Kevin is going through with this. Because he is man enough to forgive me, and we are trying so hard just to move forward. I just don't get you and him. Really? Well, I certainly don't get you and Ian at all. You are such a bitch. And you are so right. Because you know what? Your little table place part here, you are now uninvited. You're off. You're gone. Please do not come at all. No. No, 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 no. I wouldn't miss this party for the world. Oh, no, 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 no. Because one of these days, you are going to get what's coming to you. And I sure as hell hope I am there to see it. You'll be sitting on your big poinsettia. 
Love's never been simple for me. But you know that. <laughs> well, at least even I had an amicable divorce. And then I was going to marry Lucy. I really wanted that. <sighs> but we always seem to miss our moment. You coming back here will tend to complicate that. We won't tell Lucy anything until the right time. But right now, I think you and I need more time. Don't you? Oh, cool. Oh, thanks. It felt great. <laughs> you really like to help people, don't you? I mean, you, you really enjoy that. You really care. No. What about you? I mean, you care so much. That's the first thing I noticed about you. Wow. One, one of the first things. So do you really think that um, there's hope for even you? It's really up to them now. Yeah. All I can do is put a little light back on their lives, you know? Put a little light into mine tonight. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. What's that like for you? You want to find out? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's not like breaking the rules too much. No. <laughs> okay. Give me your hands. All right. Now, I want you to feel all the love that's inside of you. Okay. All that you've given away and all that you still hope to give. Now, all that love, all it is, is light. And I want you to feel it just bubbling up in you and flowing out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that, like, tickles. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Okay, you, you know what? Um, show's over. Wait, Rafe, <laughs> why? What's wrong? It's wrong. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay, I I um, uh. I have to go. Bye. Good night. Okay. Um. Oh, you will not get to me, Lucy. You've taken too much from me already. Am I in the right place? It's about time you got home. What's all this? Just come over here, give me a hand. I'm not real good at this. But I thought that you said that you didn't... Ah, I smiled. I was being a jerk. What do you think of the tree? Not too much, is it? I think it's the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. Good. Because I called them, they won't take it back. What, what, what got into you? When I left you just a little while ago, you were acting like Scrooge. Somebody gave me a gift that reminded me how important this season is and how we should celebrate our blessings. Merry Christmas, Lambert. Merry Christmas, Thornhart. Everything I had in my power to stop me from telling her that Kevin and I are getting married at the Christmas party. Oh, I just wanted to take her face and rub it in that information. But I couldn't do that. Bad karma. Very, very bad karma. And I wouldn't do that, even though it would have felt really good to do so. But no, Kevin wants this to be my day. A big surprise. So nothing and nobody is going to ruin it. Oh. I'm going to marry the man that I love, and I'm going to live happily ever after with the man that I love. <laughs> Except where is the man that I love? Well, it's amazing how your life can change in an instant. One minute you think you're going one direction, and the next you take a sharp turn, and you end up somewhere completely different. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Miracles happen. Now, where's my patient? I was hoping to actually take you out last night, but you came home so late. Where were you at, baby girl? 
What do you say we rent this place out? Huh? Make it our first home. 